seen them on Comedy Central, VH1, tons of other places. You'll be seeing lots more of them. Put your hands together for the very funny Evan Wexel. All right. All right. We're easing all into this. Give it up for all the performers you've seen tonight. It's been a very diverse evening. That's a lot of juice. Lower. Lower. Oh, man. Jerusalem Cherry, is it? Jerusalem... Let's MySpace that, guys. Let's let's get on that. Let's get on that mailing list right now. Come on. Seriously. So I just want to uh, yell some stuff. Have you guys yell some stuff so that we can just get people yelling here tonight? Because it's the Killer Guitar Comics Night. Thanks to Mr. Jeff Leon Leon Leona Helmsley. Very good. Yes. When I say Fender, you say Ah Fender. Fender. When I say feed me, you say beef. Feed me. Feed me. And you gotta do the leg kick. I didn't know you ever did that. That was amazing. I tell you, that's why we need Flipper to give it the le and the leg kick at the same time. That would be a hybrid of hybrids, guys. Are you guys excited? Are you Angels fans here? Excited for Mark Teixeira is now a new member of your team. Are you Dodger fans excited that Manny Ramirez is now a member? Really? He's just Manny being Manny. He's just being in left field. He just rolls around the left field like he misses foul balls and lets people have inside the park home runs all the time. The Red Sox couldn't be happier right now. You know that, right? Don't worry, Joe Torre's gonna turn things around. He is. Did you guys enjoy your earthquake two days ago? Did you have a good 5.4? How was your 5.4? It was good. Kind of swaying with the earth. It was very nice. My ass. The earthquake fucked your ass? What? <laughs> it rocked your ass. Yeah. Wow, that earthquake must be well hung. All right. That's a well hung earthquake, everyone. That's good that you guys are still going out and having fun because if you don't keep on having fun, that just means that the earth has won. Fuck the earth. That's right. Fuck its mantle and its, and its core and its Brendan Fraser movie journey to the center of the earth. Come on, Brendan. Focus on the mummy. Focus on the mummy. And you're right. This bit's going to go nowhere. I pretty much that's all I had planned tonight. Just like Sven. He said, but he's like an American Sven. Not like I'm a Sven. So we are, we're actually, we're guitar comics. We're pretty much the chick magnets of the comedy industry. That's true, we are. As you can tell by the sausage fest in here tonight. It's, it's perfectly natural. But um, a lot of times though, as we're approached by, by the many types of people that approach us after shows, we have to sometimes say I'm sorry. So this is, this is my I'm sorry song. Sorry that you think I'm a jerk. I'm sorry that you thought that this would ever work. I'm sorry that you thought you'd be mine, but there'll never be a place and never a time. So open your eyes and read what these lips say. I'm sorry I'm not gay I don't like you that way I know I am thin I know I am neat But I'm a pink taco guy 
sausages I do not eat. Bring me your carbs like pasta and cake. I do not need that protein shake. Get out of my closet, my wardrobe's fine this way. I'm sorry I'm not gay. Not even if you well, really, I'll negotiate. Don't make up feelings that were never felt. Please stop staring directly at my belt. It's not coming off. You're not coming in. You'll never wipe me from your chin. Grossest song line you'll hear tonight. Don't rub my thigh and say it was a joke. I'd rather watch sports than sit through queer as folk. If I've dashed your dreams, if I've crashed your hope, I'm sorry, but you'll never see me drop a soap. I ain't dropping a fucking soap. I'm sorry. I'm not watching American Idol. I'm sorry. So you think you can dance is not a sport. I'm sorry. But I don't smell as good as you. I'm not. I'm not. Thanks, guys. Welcome. Enjoy. Oh, nice Steins you got going on there. Those are some hardcore Stein Genius by Birth Slacker by Choice. Well done. It's a good variety shirt. Very much. So when we're doing, we're doing the pretty much the greatest guitar comedy show ever in the Fender Avenue Bar and Grill. And I guess every great guitar guitar comedy show should have a great musical impersonation. So. Uh, for you guys that maybe were watching VH1 a few months back, there was a reality show on the air called Rock of Love. There we go, Renee knows what I'm talking about. There we go, yes, ass fucking for all those girls. All right, pretty much it's Brent Michaels looking for her perfect slut. That's pretty much the premise of the show from Poison. It's like Bachelor meets Syphilis. That's the sh premise of the show. So, as a tribute to Brent Michaels and all you hair band fans out there, this is, uh, I'm now going to perform Every Rose Has Its Thorn. Just as uh, Brent Michaels would perform it. 30 years from now, so here we go. <laughs> Stand. That's very nice of you. No. Okay, I'll. No, no. Oh, okay. You're right. You saw the ring. My bad. Sorry. Had a wife, not a girlfriend. Right. Okay. Okay. Give it up for Renee and her vocalism. Her vocal I know I'm a little afraid. She's on a lot of uppers right now. Sing, What's going sing on? Sing Brett Michaels. Please. No. Come that's, on. that's offensive to some of the members of the audience. Oh, right? Hair bands make people. She that might was beat good. Me up. I might have to come up with some new Brett Michaels. How yeah. This is like CC DeVille not knowing how to play Talk Dirty to Me. I never, never went to New Zealand. I'm not lots of heroin. Talk dirty to me. Alright, there we go. That's your poison. Alright, simmer down. Simmer down now. Alright, here we go. So, um, yeah, she's all the ring. I've been married, actually. Two, I just had my two-year anniversary. Um, it's a, usually it doesn't get applause. Usually it takes five years to kind of give a shit. But thank you for uh, jumping in on that one. We, uh, we had a nice little anniversary. When we, we saved money. We didn't go to, like, a hotel pool or anything. We just went to the local Gold's Gym and used their therapy pool and just kind of hung out there and laid on the side indoors. That's how we chilled. But um, you learn a lot about someone when you actually marry them because you got to have... Uh, all the things you learn along the way, like the skeletons that gotta come out of the closet are insane. Like I think the biggest skeleton I got from my wife was when she told me how many people she slept with before me and uh, I wrote a song about it. So here